Behind every great team is a great coach. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 coaches, old and new. Well, if you look a little deeper than the flash and excitement of the game itself, you find the never-ending attention to details that make champions instead of just good athletes. For this list, we've picked two iconic coaches or managers from each of the five main sports, one who's more modern and current, and one from the good old days. We've compared the challenges faced by coaches in each era, like building a fan base or dealing with egos, and what they accomplished during their careers. NFL, old Vince Lombardi. To win the Super Bowl, you get the Vince Lombardi trophy. Why? Because he was the greatest to ever coach the game. Seven years as King of the Cheeseheads produced five overall championships, including three straight. Lombardi's fierce determination, unwavering authority, and focus on effort helped build Green Bay's dynasty. But it was by going against public opinion and ignoring the NFL's color barrier that Lombardi transcended his sport. There are approximately 150 plays in a football game, and there are only three or four plays in any game which make the difference between winning and losing. NFL, new Bill Belichick. With Tom Brady, Belichick formed one of the most successful coach-QB pairings ever. His ability to make tough choices and willingness to adjust netted him three Super Bowl rings in five appearances. Plus, for all the say he gets in day-to-day -day operations, Belichick may as well be GM too. Sure, Spygate's a dark spot on his resume, but his record more than makes up for it. If you're playing in a game or coaching in a game, it means something. Means something to me, means something to you. It's an opportunity for us to establish our level of performance and build on it next week. NBA, old Red Arback. You gotta give it to the guy who helped build the league, all with a cigar in his yap. 20 seasons as an NBA head coach, and Arback led his dominant Celtics dynasty to nine championships, with an unmatched eight coming consecutively. Not only did he win, but this polarizing figure also broke the NBA's color barrier and revamped the sport itself by focusing on team play. NBA, new Phil Jackson. He's the only man to top Auerbach's nine championships won. Between retirements, the Zen master put his holistic approach and triangle offense to good use, balancing superstar egos in both Chicago and LA. He brought home 11 wins, making him the only NBA coach to win multiple titles with multiple teams. Two more championships won as a player make Jackson untouchable in the record department. NHL, old Scotty Bowman. Bowman started head coaching at age 34 with the fledgling St. Louis Blues. His no-nonsense style took him to five cities, built dynasties in Montreal and Detroit, yielded nine Stanley Cups, and helped him adapt to a constantly changing game. Ingenious plays and pairings in the NHL and on the world stage earned Bowman respect, records, and a rep as one of the greatest coaches anywhere, ever. NHL, new Mike Babcock. After bringing the Mighty Ducks to the brink of a Stanley Cup win in only his second season, Babcock found himself behind Detroit's bench, where he made tough decisions and commanded respect from even the biggest superstars. He became the first coach to join the elusive Triple Gold Club by winning Olympic gold, World Championship gold, and a Stanley Cup proving his style, strategy, and lucky tie work. So are you concerned that they're coming down too hard on Holmstrom now? They, they got to decide. I just coach the game. I don't get to referee it. MLB, old Connie Mack. The tall tactician progressed from catcher to player manager to one of the most iconic skippers in MLB history. Before retiring from the Philadelphia Athletics at age 88, Mack's focus on intelligence and discipline helped his team win five World Series. 
As he lived through baseball's transitional phase, Connie Mack defined the manager's role and demonstrated that you can do a lot with a little, both talent and money-wise. MLB, new Tony La Russa. The father of the modern bullpen was also the second skipper to win World Series in both leagues and was religious about stats. While a case could be made for Joe Torre instead, since he also finished his career without ever posting over 100 losses, only Tony won multiple pennants in both leagues and went out on top after taking the cards to his third World Series win. The message is like, all you have to do is play better than the other team. If your team executes better than they, you will win. And we executed better than the three teams we played against, so we're the winners. Football, old Rinus Michels. If football is war, no wonder he was the general. The uncompromising Mickels started his coaching career by transforming Ajax into one of the league's best clubs. He left his mark with many other franchises, winning the European Cup, the Spanish League, and the European Championship with various teams. He also managed one of the greatest teams never to win the World Cup with 1974's Dutch national team. Football, new Alex Ferguson. Even before he joined Man U, Furious Fergie's career was littered with wins. But once he joined Old Trafford, all bets were off. He built the world's most successful football team and helped the Reds bring home over 30 international trophies. By asserting his authority, taking a hard line with divas, and adapting to the game's changing nature, Sir Alex kept his team competitive, especially in squeaky bum time. The new European champions that treble the dream come true for you. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Football, by the hell. But they never give in. And that's the winner. Do you agree with our list? If that's it, we're f***ing done. Pack it up! Who do you think are the most important coaches in history? For more top 10s about your favorite sports, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.